And as a professional, you shouldn't do with amateurs. <laughs> Thanks, Campbell. How are we going? Yeah, you can go fine. to the next one. Um, people ask me and say to me, uh, what sort of photography do I do? My answer is I do any sort of photography and have done every sort of different photography. I've taken photos of Harley Davidson's in the penthouse of Circle on Cavill. Keep going if you could, Campbell. Uh, some strange ones that I've done is I did a fashion photo shoot in Pentridge Prison, which was down in Melbourne about five years ago, which was absolutely awesome. Loved doing every bit of it. Different places that it's taken me to. I got paid to go into the corporate box and take photos of the 100th State of Origin game. I did photos at Ramwick Racecourse of uh, the track races for Melbourne Cup Day. I've also done a fair bit of editing in my life and just wanted to show you a difference between a green screen and an edited photo. And I wrote there, does Photoshop and photo editing work and do any difference? That photo there earned me $1,000. There's another one here, I just did it at the Langham, which was a week ago. When I went there, it was a miserable, horrible overcast day. In the morning, I took that photo. When I went home, I changed it from that <coughs> to that. Then I didn't like the washed out sky, so I put in a fake sky in this one just here, and that was that. Um, I've also done photographs all over Australia. People say to me, where do you cover? I had somebody yesterday write me an email and say, which suburbs do you take photos in? And I wrote back, if it's in Australia, it's a suburb, I'll go there. So I go anywhere. I've been to 33 different countries to take photos as well. I've gone all around taking launches of different places. I've had photos on the covers of magazines, maybe you remember or have seen some of these in Brisbane and the Gold Coast as well, as newspapers and also websites and I've done some people's websites who are in this room at the moment. So thank you for those people in this room who have allowed me to do some of their websites. I've also been photographing uh, Miss World Australia and also Miss Universe for the past 12 years. Used to be held down in Melbourne, used to be held down in Sydney, I used to have to fly down there to do that which was great at the time but even better now because it's just up the road here it's at the Versace and so I get to go and do the photos over there as well. Through being there I get to meet all sorts of different people. Survivor if you follow that you may have noticed that Sarah Marsh is on there over the last few nights on television and I've known her for probably about four or five years and did her photos when she first won uh, Miss World Australia. I did her Instagram, oh sorry, LinkedIn photo as well. And so she's now on Survivor and that at the moment. I also do product photography. That's any sort of products. Doesn't matter if it's food. <laughs> uh, doesn't matter if it's sunglasses. Doesn't matter what sort of photography it is. I've done a lot, fair bit of jewelry photography as well. I have a, a macro lens so I can take close ups of diamonds and things like that. So uh, I can do those as well. Also do wedding photography. I've done giveaways of people with Mercedes-Benz cars for people who are in Arbonne, which is a multi-level marketing. So if there are anybody who's looking for photos <coughs> for that. I've traveled around the world, Eiffel Tower, I've taken photos in Paris, the Game of Thrones, which you may recognize in Dubrovnik in Croatia. And they are also all for sale. I also help out businesses who are relaunching, such as when Moomoo was relaunched about seven years ago. They also opened up a new restaurant, sorry, the Gianelli, Gennari Group opened up La Luna. Right there at the moment is where they've just built their floating part, which has a swimming pool and it has a bar and everything. It absolutely amazed me at that place, which is over at Marina Mirage. And at Marina Mirage, they were actually able to, from that black pontoon to another black pontoon over there, uh, he was able to rent and lease the water space, which absolutely amazed me. So he actually owns, I don't know if you know, he owns Glass, which is next door. He owns the Lunar, he owns Koi, Roosevelt, Loose Moose. Uh, there are a few others around. Yeah, he, he owns about six or seven, so Pat. So I've done a lot of photography for him over the last seven or eight years. Most of the restaurants, we went to Sage for our Christmas restaurant, didn't we? Um, I did photos in Sage probably for about five years Every Friday night, believe it or not, when people were eating dinner, uh, they paid me to go in there and take photos of people to promote their business. 
and I worked in Sage and also Yellowfin. Most of the restaurants that are in Broadbeach, I've taken photos in their restaurant and also their food. I love my drone photography. Uh, I've done some great drone photos on the Gold Coast. These are a couple of my favourite buildings, which is Jewel and the Langham. I also did some photos for Marion and she uses it, thank you very much, on her email as a signature down the bottom, which is of her building looking up to similar area. I work with this goose. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, apparently, oh, he's, apparently he sells more that for less. Campbell Moore sells, sells, sells more. That was Campbell Moore sells more for more on that one. That's right, yes. Yeah, he's, he's a very nice gentleman and working with Campbell, we've done some photos, external, internal, some drone photos. I've done some floor plans and things like that. So I've done some of those. I think Julie, if you're here. Yeah, yeah did some work with Julie as well, uh, doing some commercial work. Uh, internationally, I've photographed 33 different countries. I love doing at London. This one here is one of my favourites. It hangs in my bedroom and it is a photo of Zakynthos Beach. You've probably never heard of it. Zakynthos Beach or Shipwreck Beach. If you have heard of it, you're looking and going, yay. And the reason is because the most photographed beach on planet Earth. I was really, really fortunate when I went over there to Greece in that I'd already done all my research on it. I knew it was such a popular, pop this is like having a photo of Bondi Beach with no one on it. So such a popular, popular, crazy beach. There's always thousands and thousands of people, thousands and thousands of boats. If you look at the shadow, it's really long. It was in summertime. I took that photo around about eight o'clock at night time. So at eight o'clock at night time, the sun was still up. It was still great. I actually paid extra to get there by myself to get up there because I didn't want any people. Lots of my photos, like these ones here as well, I managed to and I just happened to have the ability to be at the right place at the right time and get the right angles, I think, in that I take lots of photos where there's nobody in the, on the beach, which is normally a, a beach that's got lots of people. I also selling some of my photos up as larger frames, which is my passion of sharing and capturing photos to resonate with people, to hang on to their walls. This one just here is a photo which is on my Google Maps. On my Google Maps, I'm up to 1.6 million views. This particular photo is almost up to a quarter of a million views. I brought it along here today. It's actually a classic photo. It's the last slide too, Campbell, so I can stop there. As a photographer, it's a classic photo because it follows the classic rules of a third, a third, a third and it's also very classical because it's a drone photo and it's right on the edge, if you know where it actually is, it's right on the edge of the pathway of the flights coming in. It is, I took this one, when you look on the map with the drone, it shows you the spot you can take photos and you can't take photos. I was one street away from where I wasn't allowed to take it. And it was also very good because, again, those beaches don't have very many people on them. And this one down here I took just recently on my trip down to Melbourne, which is the Twelve Apostles. When it was named as the Twelve Apostles, it never actually ever had Twelve Apostles, actually only ever had nine. A couple of them have fallen down, so as far as I know there are about seven of them left. I look at that as global warming. I also look at it as just part of evolution of the, the ocean coming in and going out. If anybody's interested in buying one of these today as a special, that one you can have for $150. That one now you can have for $130. I have to leave early, so don't see me. See my beautiful partner, Martina, and she'll organise it with you. Um, you can just do a $50 deposit and we can get it organised for you. That's... Also, that you as fee... Yeah. If I can... Only because you've got to leave. Can I, I can copy that and I can send that out to people so if they look at the photographer they say, well, this is what he's done. Sure. Can I yeah. do that? Yeah, and yeah. also, as Rob said, most people would have switched off and not heard what I just said. If you can hear the last thing I say, mm -hmm. I only charge $100 an hour. Mm -hmm. Most people go, wow, that is so ridiculously cheap. So $100 an hour to go anywhere, do anything and take photos. So if you need a photographer, I'm $100 an hour. doesn't matter if it's a 50th birthday, an engagement party, a wedding, all those, oops, sorry, weddings are a little bit more. Um, I do photos in offices and everything else like that. Zach from Mr. Smith Photography, get shot by the professional. <laughs> any, any questions there of Zach? Hello. 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 Not really, no. 
what, what I include in my $100 an hour is drive time, photos, editing. So as an example, if I had to go to an orang, it's 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, another 20 minutes of editing, that's an hour, an hour of photos, so it's $200. Yeah. And you're still in the gig for Anita and I, it's 11th of March oh. as well too, aren't you? On my birthday. <laughs> it's on your birthday too. <laughs> and actually, actually, that's a really good point. Thank you for reminding me of that. I had a, I had a phone call yesterday afternoon at exactly the split second time as Martina was ringing me, so I couldn't answer to her. But the lady was ringing me up saying, are you available on the 12th of March, which is the next day, on a Sunday? And I went, yes, I actually am. And she said, the only reason I'm ringing you is because I read your slogan that said, Get shot by the professionals. Wow. True story. That's good. Yeah. Thank